Hi, I'm Camilla James. I'm a dressage rider based in Surrey. This is my dressage mare. She's working at Pre St George level. Her name's Santa. I'm going to be telling you about a few dressage tips today. First tip is when you're warming your horse up. When we first get on, we want to work them long and low, stretching deep so that they stretch over their back, so they warm up nice and supple, ready for picking up. Once your horse is warmed up, working happily over its back, we're going to start working some transitions. Lots of different transitions, as many as you like. Trot to walk, walk to trot, making sure they're sitting on their hind legs, stepping through with their hind legs, soft over their back. Also, canter transitions, and we can work transitions within the canter as well. Working canter to collected canter, back to working canter. We're then going to start doing lateral work. Lots of shoulder in, using the 10 meter circle before the shoulder in, making sure they're soft and supple around the inside leg and then into that shoulder in. We're going to move on to a little bit more advanced work now, some flying changes. To introduce your horse into the flying change, we're going to use simple changes. Riding a half 10 meter circle, returning back to the track, simple change, changing your leg aids, picking up your new canter lead. We're then going to introduce the flying change with the same exercise. Half 10 meter circle, returning back to the track, half halting, changing those leg aids, flying change. Yeah. 
finally stretching down and cooling down at the end of your training session so important to stretch those muscles out and let your horse relax otherwise we end up with a build-up of lactic acid which could damage your horse's muscles also very important at a competition a lot of horses just get put back in the horse box after your test you must go and cool them down There are a few of my top tips. I hope you find them helpful. Remember, enjoy your dressage, it's meant to be fun. Smile. <laughs>